Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. We are in yet again for another episode for another new video. Remember we are streaming live from Decibel Audio Kenya. We are the best when it comes to retail and wholesale of sound equipment or public address system. So we deal with the sale of music instruments and public address system. So speakers, microphones, guitars, mixers, to mention but a few lights, okay? So these are lighting controls for your disco, for your stages. We have everything when it comes to sound equipment. So today we want to do a video and the video will be about a simple video of how to connect a plain mixer or a passive mixer together with an amplifier, a power amplifier, right? So we're going to take you through step by step on how to do that. And Alex is already setting up the mixer, as you can see right over there. So I'm, uh, I'm just buying time before he does that. But we want to show you a simple video. We decided uh, in as much as we are going to do complex sound videos, we're also going to take through all our audience all our clients from the basic and now we go on to do even the harder or the more complex stuff so today we want to do a plain mixer connecting it to a power amplifier then our signal from the power amplifier or the amplifier into the speakers all right so without further ado let me show you whatever alex is doing over here he is so this is alex so this is our plain mixer that we're going to be using today. This is called a uh, Decibel Audio CT80S. So this is our own mixer. It's a very good plain mixer. And right over here we have another amplifier. It's a digital amplifier with a digital display. So it's showing the fan. Okay, it's showing the temperature of the amplifier. And it's also showing the decibels, all right? So this is a very professional power amplifier it's also a decibel product it's called decibel audio da6000 it's very powerful it has two channels channel number one and channel number two and then at the back it has we have connected the this is where you connect the speakers so we shall be doing that shortly you have speaker number one there's speaker number two these are 2200 watts times two all right so are we, what are we doing here so you connect your signals or your inputs into the mixer, all right? So we are using this cable to bring signal from our laptop right over there. It's coming all the way into channel number one. So that's channel number one. So it's coming here. So we shall be using this LiDAR, channel number one, to control whatever input is coming in this channel. So remember, whatever you do here, you can copy or you can apply the same knowledge into all the channels all right so whatever we do here you can also be able to do here now depending with the specific input that is coming in that channel then these are our main left and right so these are the main signals that are coming out of the mixer going into the amplifier so we ha only have two cables in this setup these two cables that are coming out so remember this is these are inputs that are called inputs this is where you put in on uh you put in your microphones your guitars uh, music whatever instrument what whatever input that you have this is where you use to input them and then this is the main output it's called the main output controlling the left signal and the right signal as they are indicated here so l is for left r is for right so they are coming out from the mixer going into the amplifier so the yellow one and the blue one so they are corresponding here they are coming into the left and the right side then we have these two these are the speakers we have a signal coming from the left side a signal coming from the right side these are the speaker cables normally connected via uh, or, uh with the help of these uh um, jack pins that are called specons these ones are called xlr the male and the female all right so without further ado we come here we have a bit of controls we have gain control this one is uh, volume control you will only use this one when you need more punch or when you need more decibels to gain all right so you will only use this one when your channel or when your fader 
is beyond the U or the zero dBs, as well as your main left and right, when they are beyond the U or the zero dBs, then now you can be able to add more gain. So normally my gain is at is at minus five. Very small. So what does that do or how does that help you? That helps you because you are able to get very extremely clean sound coming out of your mixing console because the gain levels are extremely so very low okay so we use the slider first to control but we, before you even come to the sliders you are you have hf so these are frequencies called a high frequency these are the tweeters then we have the mf right over here so these are the mid frequencies so these are the mid-range frequencies then we have the lf these are the low frequencies then this auxiliary i'll show you this next time these are an output so it's off these are effects we don't need them now so they are off then this is the pan so the pan function is to separate either the left or to the right um, um channel all right so we've said it has all the mixers have left and right to be able to give you a stereo output so the pan is to specifically drive your signals either to the right or to the left or to mix either left and right all right so this is the pan i'll show you how it works uh, later then this is the channel function so this is to control a specific channel this is a slider to control a specific channel so remember like this one is an eight channel so it has eight eight input sliders this is the effect slider these are the main and uh, left and right slider so without further ado let's see if you have some sound so my high frequency mid frequency and low frequency have all been set at zero dBs. That's at the center. So that is very safe, very clean sound. Let's see how it is uh, coming out. So remember, we've done our connections, but still our volume from the amplifier, we all normally advise you either put your amplifier off when you are doing the cabling. Then after you've done the cabling, after you've switched the amplifier on, make sure your volumes are always off. So this is just in case of anything, you might not end up blowing your speakers so because now we have all the signal set we can adjust the knobs a bit there just to test and see if we have some signals coming out and going into the amplifier so then we slide this a bit i can already hear some sound then we can add the left and the right right over there let me change the song because of what we call the copyright copyright so we are using our own music so that we don't get sued for using other people's music so we are using our own as we do that probably and we are ready then we can be able to hear some music coming in so you're using the sliders the maze and the amplifier now you can be able to do zero dbs there and there then there is this indicator right over here so this indicator is an LED indicator that shows you the number or the amount of dBs that you are doing. So we are currently uh, working from minus 14 to minus 11. So we still have a long way to go. If you want more power, we're able to do that. So remember we said this one, we have uh, the freedom of doing up to 0 dBs, which is there. The channel as well, we can do 0 dBs there. All right. So if the power is not still enough, the advice will be don't go for the gains before you do maximum or when you before you do a uh, much load into the amplifier if the amplifier you have matches the power with the speaker that you are using then you have the freedom to increase the volume of your amplifier actually it's advisable to do maximum volume if the speakers are matching power with the amplifier so it's it's, it's uh, safer to do to do more more power from the amplifier than using your gain to increase the volume that's why you find most speakers getting blown because people are misusing the gain the gain knobs all right so we are still not touching our gain our gain is still minus five so we have very clean sound coming out of the mixer going to the amplifier all right so let's hear doing 
minus three dBs. I hope you can see there. And we have very clean sound coming from our speakers. So remember, uh, when you're using specifically this amplifier, it's able to indicate even the clip indicator right over here. So whenever you see this clip indicator lighting on, probably it will go as red. You are distorting or you have distorted sound. And that is what will cause your speakers to blow out. That is what will make your amplifier to blow out. So remember, don't ever let your amplifiers clip. So that is it for today's video. We have, we have, we have covered a good part. So we call it a day. That is another video of how to connect a mixer into an amplifier. Very simple and direct. And we are glad that we have customers here who will want to say hi. So here they are, just say hi. So those are our happy customers right here at Decibel. And there's another one here. Say hi. Hi, hi, hi. So those are our happy clients. There's another one here who wants to say hi. Hi. Hi, hi. These are our happy. Happy customers. Then we have Moturi here. <laughs> Moturi, say hi. hi. <laughs> so we are really excited to do that video uh, coming up uh, very soon. So see you and uh, watch out for more amazing videos. Remember, we are streaming live from Decibel Audio Kenya, the best shop when it comes to sound and uh, music equipment. So guys, say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's the end Adios. of the video. Adios. End of the video today. Until next time. Cheers, guys. <laughs>